Hey, what's happening, family? Good morning. Um, it's great to be back for uh, for day two of our Advent 2020 prayer and devotional series. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to share some content with you today. Uh, again, I'll just keep it brief. And um, guys, as we go through um, these days again, you know, we're preparing our hearts and uh, and our minds to receive Jesus. I would like, um, I just invite us all to reflect on hope. Um, yeah, and uh, so I guess, I, you know, I would speak from the point of a sign, you know, with, from our time together today, I speak from just, again, inviting us to reflect on hope, especially during this season. So I'm going to be reading from Psalms, uh, jumping back into the book of Isaiah, and, uh, and then Matthew. So um, Psalm 130, verses 1 to 8, it says, Out of the depths I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, kept record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, so that we can, with reverence, serve you. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. I wait for the Lord more than watchmen wait for the morning. More than watchmen wait for the morning. Israel, put your hope in the Lord. For with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all their sins. And then jumping over to um, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. And then we'll go to New Testament, Matthew 1. Verses 22 to 23. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Uh, yeah, so, guys, you know, this season, it's, it's, about, it's about Jesus. You know, the glitz and the glam of Christmas and gifts and presents, the ultimate present, the ultimate gift is... Um, is Jesus, you know, and that's, um, that's the big reason, that's the only reason why I'm doing these videos, is just to, uh, again, to offer you guys hope um, in Jesus, and, and everything that, um, everything that he is, everything that his kingdom stands for, I mean, guys, biblical hope relies on God's character, um, it's just a basis for trusting in, um, in that the future is going to be better than the present, and again, in the present state of this world, who wouldn't want to hope? For, for a better future. And, you know, the amazing thing is the more we get to know God's character, the more um, we understand who he is and the more hope that we can have. And it's just, you know, as we read these scriptures today, I want you guys to think about more than 680 years before um, the birth of Jesus, God came to the prophet Isaiah and shared with him that the Savior would be born of a virgin. And in Matthew's gospel, it confirms that, the account of Christ's birth. You know, when the angel of the Lord comes to Joseph and says that Mary's son would be conceived of the Holy Spirit. Um, again, guys, you know, our infinite, unlimited God, through Jesus, took on the limitations of humanity. Um, also, he could live and die for the salvation of everyone who believes in him. I mean, that's the essence of the gospel right there. You know, that's, that's the good news. And um, yeah, plainly, don't you see guys, Jesus had to come and, and he had to come to earth and save us from sin, from, from death, because we couldn't save ourselves. No matter how good we are, um, we couldn't eliminate the sinful nature in, in all of us. Um, only Jesus can do that. You know, he didn't come to, to help us save ourselves. He came to be our savior, to take on that penalty of sin. You know, that it just blows me away. And it's just something, you know, that offers real hope to me throughout this season and throughout every day. And um, again, I just invite you to consider, I encourage you, um, again, I don't know where you're at, but um, I just invite you and I encourage you to take hope in that, um, that Jesus came for us. And that's why we need to thank him 
for leaving heaven, um, for, for taking on human form, for picking up his cross and ultimately dying for us so that we could be saved. And guys, you know, I'm here to tell you that the second you ask him to take control of your life at that very moment, your new life begins and, and everything just, everything is completely, everything is completely different from that point on. So again, you know, as we go through this season, prepare our hearts, um, you know, just think about those things as, as we go through, as we go through our day. Um, again, I, I hope it brings you, I hope it brings you hope, all the hope that, uh, that comes along with Jesus. Um, let's pray. Heavenly Father, um, I thank you so much for just sending your son for us, God. Jesus, I thank you for leaving the comforts of heaven, for coming down to earth as a baby, um, defenseless, all so that just by your birth, through your life, death, your resurrection, Lord, you could, you could pay the penalty and the price and the debt that we couldn't pay for ourselves, Lord. You love us that much that you, that you would do that. And um, God of all hope, I just ask that you, um, you fill us with joy and peace as we trust in you um, so that we can just overflow with the hope that you give us through the Holy Spirit, Lord. And um, everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord, I pray that they would just, they would come to know you. They would come to see how you move in their lives this season. And, um, and I just ask that you would touch us all, Lord. Again, you didn't come to make us better, to make us good. Jesus, you came to make us new. And, uh, and I thank you for that. And I pray that we would walk through this season with a reverence, a new reverence for you, Lord, a longing for you, um, a still expectant, joyful hope in waiting. And Lord, we ask this all in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Family, I thank you for taking the time to be with me today. And uh, again, I hope these videos bless you. Um, and I hope they offer you hope, joy, and peace throughout the season. I love you, and um, I'll catch you next video.